Hello everyone, today I am going to create this building design in Revit using the meshing technique. I am going to show that how you can combine different meshes and use different techniques in meshing to create complex forms in Revit. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open new architectural template in Revit. In the meshing and site tab, click on in place mesh. Click OK. Select this subline through points and draw any type of surface using this tool. This is basically the roof the plan of the roof close all the open sides like this again using supply through points so make sure that this is a one continuous complete chain. After you have done this, go to 3D and select this individual point and move this blue line upwards to move along the z-axis. Go to this front view in the 3D so as to move the points in a more authentic way. Keep on repeating this process till you get all the contours, the, uh, the lines which you want move all of these points at the place which you desire because this is not going to be a flat roof you can use this technique to create uh, many complex roofs in the messing mode of Revit After completing this process, select it and then click on create form. And so now the sur a surface has been created. Now click on finish mesh to exit this mesh mode. Then go to North Elevation and draw six more levels as shown.
then go to level 1 floor plan and in the meshing and side tab again click on in place mesh then draw an ellipse like this then go to level 8 floor plan make sure that uh, this range base is on and in this level 8 draw an other ellipse like this and then in the 3d select both of these ellipses and then click on create form and so now a tower has been created within this okay so now i have a tower and this roof select this cut command and then select the roof and then tower and now you can see an opening has been created in the roof where the at the place of the tower and so in this way you can create it you can combine different type of messes so again go to mass one place a reference point here set the reference plane to this reference point and draw an arc like this select this curvilinear line then select this arc and then click on create form so now repeat this process on all of the other remaining three sides go to north elevation and you see these masses which has which is below level 1 i don't need it and i want to subtract it from the existing mass so for that go to level 1 floor plan and draw a reference plane at this point assign a name to this reference plane i am going to name it a then go to north elevation select the reference line set the reference plane to a and draw a rectangle below the level 1 floor plan select this reference rectangle and then click on create void form then click on this rectangle go to level 1 floor plan drag this void box like this then go to 3D, select the cut command,
and then select this and select that void box and now a cut has been created below the level one floor plan so now i'm going to repeat this process to create a cut on all the other three sides for that select this reference rectangle click on create void form drag it down then select the cut command select it and select this void form and again a cut has been created After exiting the mesh mode, select the roof from the meshing and side tab and select this component and click on create form. If an error is shown while creating the roof, you don't have to worry. You can always opt for wall and then select these surfaces to create walls on it. You can always change the properties and the materials of the wall as you wish for. Click on this curtain system in the Messing Inside tab. Now I am going to create this uh, curtain panel on it. Select it. You can click on Edit Type, and here from here you can adjust the size of the panels. Now create a curtain system on these surfaces as well. Now select this mesh, then click on mesh flows, check all of these flows, click OK. After that, go to meshing and side tab and draw a roof here and for the remaining uh, surfaces, I am going to draw the floor like this select it one by one
and then click on create floor to create floors automatically like this make sure that the mass is an enclosed surface otherwise you have to draw the floor yourself and it cannot be created automatically so that's all for today i hope you like uh, this video and learn something new about this massing technique do leave your comments below and give me your feedback i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe